back-to-back -back MVP, Giannis Antetokounmpo, has achieved a lot in his seven-year career, but what has eluded him so far? Even a crack at an NBA title. And he made it very clear in talking to reporters yesterday that he intends to change that over the life of this new five-year extension he just signed with the Bucks. Take a listen. I want to be here. I want to help my teammates. I want to help this organization win a championship. I want this organization and my teammates to help me win a championship. Obviously, it goes both ways. Um, but as I said, like, I try, I, try, I try to keep it away from my head. Like, it puts a lot of pressure in athletes. And he gave me like gives me he gave me headache all summer. Like people asking me and uh, uh, people talking about me. You know, I just wanted to be left alone. I knew what I wanted in my head. I knew that the goal is to win a championship, and I knew that here we have a chance to win a championship. You know, I think we got better as a team, and we're going to keep continue to get better. And there's always a chance. You know, there's always a chance to win a championship here. Herc, you heard him repeat that word, championship, over and over. Do you believe Giannis and the Bucks will get it done sometime in these next five years? Yes, I do. Look, I think the way they – I think Giannis keeps getting better every year, Rachel, and he's going to keep getting better. And right now with Giannis re-signing in Milwaukee, I truly believe that it is eye candy to other free agents – that are going to become free agents in the offseason, and they're going to want to come play with, with Giannis. It's not necessarily moving to Milwaukee, but they're going to want to go, come come to play with Giannis because they feel like they could win a championship if they're alongside of him. Rach, I'm, I still have serious doubts. And, Perk, I think the Bucks are in a much better place than they were a couple months ago getting it. Eric Bledsoe out. Bringing Drew Holiday in, that is a huge upgrade. But I don't know if Mike Budenholzer is the coach that's going to help them get over the hump. And I still have questions about Giannis in the postseason. When you watch Giannis against the Miami Heat, and they built that wall, and Jimmy Butler's on him, and Bam Adebayo's on him, I just don't know, even with this move over the last couple of weeks, if they have enough on the roster right now. I've always loved Giannis. I think he can get better. Chris Middleton is a hell of a player. But unless Holiday can raise the level of his game to a different point than we've seen, I still don't know if Milwaukee can both get in to the finals out of the East and then get whoever comes out of the West. That, that's really such an important point about getting to the finals at all because Kevin Durant is in the conference now. That's just a game changer, right? So if Kevin Durant turns into the Kevin Durant of old and he's got Kyrie Irving with him, and also when you talk about recruiting guys, Kyrie and KD are trying to recruit future free agents and guys to come play in Brooklyn. And Milwaukee, of course, a smaller market. But Giannis is a big draw. I would want to go play with that guy. It is going to be a challenge. And you, of course, then have the gauntlet in the West with all the strength out there as well. We will see. Here's what I know. The part that's on Giannis to get better himself, the way, Nick, you were talking about, I have faith that that will happen. And then we'll have to see where the other chips fall. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.